Hi, I'm Katie from the Geoscience Education Centre. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a hardness test to work out what kind of mineral you have. Today we're going to be using the Mohs Hardness Scale, which was developed by a German scientist called Frederick Mohs. And it goes from number one, the softest mineral on the Mohs Scale of Hardness, which is talc, to number 10, which is the hardest mineral on the scale, which is diamond. For this activity, you will need various unknown mineral specimens, a 20 cent coin, a knife, and a mineral hardness scale. If I look at this sample, and I can use my fingernail to scratch it, we can see where it might sit on the most scale of hardness. So I'll find a flat, unscratched surface and rub it with my fingernail. And you can see that this specimen is softer than my fingernail. So if I look at my hardness diagram, fingernail is a 2.5, so this mineral must be less hard than a fingernail. So this specimen is either gypsum or talc. I can then look at other characteristics, like the way the light reflects off it, and I can suggest that this mineral might be gypsum. I have another sample here that I want to work out what it is. If I pick up this sample and give it a quick scratch, I can tell it's much harder than my fingernail. So if I go up the scale, I might then try with a 20 cent coin. I'll hold the sample on the table and pull the coin firmly across my sample. In this case, the coin did not scratch my unknown sample. When you're looking at if it scratches or not, look very closely rub away the surface, rub away any powder that was left behind, and see if there was an indentation left in your sample. So my sample is harder than a 20 cent coin, which is 3.5. I'm then going to try scratching my sample with a knife. On my scale, a knife is 6.5 hardness. Again, I will hold it on the table and carefully scratch my knife blade on this sample. If I rub away the powder that was created, we can see that this knife has left behind a distinct scratch on the mineral. So I know my sample is softer than my knife, but harder than my coin. If I look at the examples on my diagram, I can look and see that this mineral might be feldspar. I can also determine that it is feldspar looking at other characteristics. In this case, the shape of the mineral. I have here two opaque samples that look quite similar. And I can scratch them against each other to work out which might be a harder sample, which might be a softer sample. If I hold this one and scratch with this one, Again, I will wipe away any residue, any powder, and you can see that this has left a distinct scratch in my specimen. Now I know that one of these is calcite and one of these is quartz. If I look at my mineral hardness diagram, we can see that calcite is three, quartz is seven, so the one that's scratched is going to be the harder mineral quartz at number seven, and the one that was scratched is going to be the softer mineral, calcite, at number three. The hardness test is just one test we can use to identify unknown minerals. Look out for our other videos for more information about other identification tests.